um, I'm just going to do a quick video to take you through um, some um, helpful hints on how to um, tackle this one. So the first two questions are just those uh, knowledge check questions. So work your way through, um, eliminate three of the options and hopefully uh, the last one will be the correct answer. Just be really careful with the second one, um, not to confuse morbidity and mortality. So before you do this, do just check that you know the definitions of both of those uh, so that you don't risk losing a mark. Okay. Um, the last question then is a nine marker. Um, you are given four figures, um, all showing different elements of uh, agricultural production in Almeria in Spain. So the first image we've got is a landscape and, and soil image. Um, then you'll also see a climate graph, one that shows the export value of crops, and then another one showing plastic greenhouses. And the question is this, assess the extent to which there is a relationship between agricultural production and key physical variables such as climate and soil. So for this question, you need to you need to comment on how important climate is to agricultural production, how important soil is to agricultural production, making reference to the things that you are, the figures that you have been given. But in order to do that, you also need to consider what other things are as important or might have an impact on agricultural production. So for example, you might be thinking about human intervention, or you might be thinking about the future and how things might change in terms of climate and what impact that might have. So um, in terms of our knowledge and understanding, then the first thing that we might consider is, are these images suggesting that it's subsistence farming or intensive farming taking place here? And we might want to think about how that would impact on crop yields. Okay, so the first image is clearly showing um, the landscape and soil of Almeria. So you might want to have a think about the soil type. Um, the soil looks fairly stony and dry and what kind of problems might that lead to in terms of erosion? Um, is there any evidence of potential drainage here, um, looking at the relief of the, the land? And you can see those um, hills in the background. Okay. We've got a climate graph. Now we can see that when our uh, rainfall is at its lowest level, our temperatures are, are at their highest, you might want to think about what the impact of that could be on agricultural um, production, okay, and it, would that lead to a need for human intervention, and if so, what type of intervention might we see here? Okay, and all the while as well, you can be thinking about your own example, so any other examples that we've covered in class of um, climate and agricultural production, you can draw on those here too because it does say and your own knowledge in the question. Okay so the export value of crops then, um, so all these crops that are shown, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers and strawberries, all that need heat, okay, um, and the suggestion is you would consider um, for tomatoes in particular, we know we can grow them in greenhouses or um, in summer only in the UK but um, given the uh, temperatures in Spain, it looks like you, there may be an export crop all year round. Okay, um, plastic greenhouses then, this is our evidence of human intervention taking place in terms of agricultural production in Almeria. Um, you might also want to consider um, if hydroponics, irrigation are being used, or indeed if you have an example of um, places using those. Something else to consider then is whether um, the link between agricultural production and physical um, variables will become uh, less important over time um, because of an increase in um, the use of technology or if indeed climate change will see us need to, need to use more intervention um, sooner to counteract um, extreme weather events for instance. Um, which could potentially lead to a decrease in production. So there is lots to consider for this question. You need to try and tie lots of the elements together, but also bring in your own knowledge as well, your own examples.